Ghost developments, they're too much a part of our landscape. And the Palm Beaches and Treasure Coast nowadays, scary reminders of a housing crash that drained communities of money, energy, and hope. Our year-long Impact 5 initiative focuses on the problem tonight and the fight to bring new life to those neighborhoods. News Channel 5's Ricky Klaus is live in Stewart. Ricky. Michael, I'm at Canner Highway and Pomeroy Street, and this neighborhood I'm standing in front of has a sign out front, but there's no name written on it. And there is a gatehouse, as you can see here, but it's blocked by chains. And there are gates behind me, but behind it is a ghost community. There are others like this in Port St. Lucie, and here we introduce you to a couple of them. This is Victoria Park in Port St. Lucie's tradition development. The wind carries no echoes here. There are no sounds of children playing, of adults talking or working to maintain community pride. There are no homes at all in Victoria Park. It's a ghost development, a place that never got off the ground. The economy collapsed and it was left in this condition. This neighborhood is one of many across our region and state that went bust when the housing bubble burst. This is another Tesoro Preserve in Port St. Lucie. It's quiet. You know, there's a lot of room to roam. 440 lots here, but only 14 homes were built. The developer here says these Mediterranean-style houses once had price tags of almost $2 million. Today, they go for about a quarter of that price. Frank Luciano is 63. He bought one two years ago. I was out of work, so, uh, you know, we figured to, re to retire. We came up to Port St. Lucie because it's a beautiful area up here. Luciano used to have his own construction company. The housing crash ended that, and he left his much larger home in Broward County to start over here. And the neighbor needs life. Eh? It's a beautiful neighborhood. Luciano's neighbor, Joseph Visconti, is also the developer here. He's trying to carve out a new future for a place that seemed to be at a dead end two years ago. We had to go to the banks and buy the mortgages, do the foreclosures, you know, pay off the liens. Visconti is hopeful now. He says he's selling lots, building a clubhouse, tennis courts, a pool. We have a long way to go, but it's starting and it's working. And Port St. Lucie leaders are encouraging the efforts. Throughout the city, uh, we are working with some developers to try to find ways to resolve these empty properties. An ongoing fight goes on to bring ghost developments back to life. Port St. Lucie used to be the fastest growing city in the United States, but that was in 2005, according to the U.S. Census Bureau. Reporting live in Stewart, Ricky Klaus, WPTV News Channel 5.